I'm on the stage of uh, building my roof for my shed. My shed is about six by eight uh, feet, and the span of the the roof would be uh, six feet, and that is uh, seventy two inches. So I'm deciding uh, what roof pitch I'm gonna use. So here. I decided to get the 4 to 12 uh, roof pitch which means for every 12 inches run it would raise the roof to a slope of 4 inches and uh, since I have a 72 inches span of the roof get half of it it would be about 36 inches or 3 feet from this point to that point and that is about 3 feet so i would multiply four to three four times three it would raise my roof to a rise of 12 inches now i'm making a computation to get the length of the rafters that's the c my run is 36 inches and making computation for the uh, uh, length of the roof rafters I have a run of 36 inches, a rise of 12 inches, and the formula for that is 6 squared plus a squared plus b squared, and transferring all the data, you're gonna get a c equals to 37.95 inches, or roughly about 38 inches. It's better to round it up uh, longer than shorter because you can make some adjustment if you're your roof rafters is long so transferring that on a wood would uh, show you that the 38 inches uh, length of the rafters would be from here to the side of the wall or the one would rest on the side of the the roof would be from here and that is 38 inches so I'm going to add a 4 inch uh, overhang from this point to that point so that you can uh, extend the roof. But you have to consider if you're going to use a ridge on the middle of the, uh, of the rafters, you should uh, deduct the 3 4 uh, inch that would be the middle or the middle of a 2x4 uh, ridge and transferring that to the wood itself the roof rafters length is about 38 inches so from this point to that point I measured it 38 inches to the seat cut is 38 inches because that's the computation that we have, the 38 inches uh, of the slope or the length of the roof rafters. From this point to that point, it's a 4 inch overhang. I will use this as a pattern the, that I'm going to use on all the rafters that I'm going to make. So I was able to cut my first uh, roof rafters. So maybe you're asking uh, how was i able to cut the uh, the slope or the angle for the roof rafters so remember i use a 4 to 12 uh, roof pitch which means for every 12 inches uh, run my roof will rise to a 4 inches uh, uh, rise so, so transferring that to the wood that I'm going to cut, it would be like this. So, I would align that here, the 12 inches run, and I would align the 4 inches uh, rise on the side of the wood. 
and it would show you the the angle so as you can see it would show you how it was uh, aligned on this side right look at the angle 4 inch rise 12 inch uh, run so same thing with the with the C cut you're gonna use that 12 inch run and 4 inch rise to align to the wood you see that on the corner on the side and the 12 inch on the side it would uh, be aligned on the seat cut same thing with the for the 38 inch uh, uh, length of the uh, the rafters it's gonna be like that so the 4 inch rise and the 12 inch uh, runs you're gonna align those line mark lines to the side of the wood and it would be like that and you're gonna mark it here put a line on it so for the saw cut and it's gonna be like that so if you're gonna measure it I made my first uh, rafters from this point to this point it's gonna be a 38 inch uh, 38 inch uh, rafters so from now from, at this point it's about 37 and uh, and a quarter because remember I I removed or deducted the 3 4 inch for the roof fridge over here so from the seat cut remember I added a 4 inch uh, overhang uh, if you're gonna measure it that way it's gonna be that 4 inch okay so I'm gonna use this one as a pattern for all my rafters so just choose the best uh, pattern that you can have and I've, I've decided to use this one as the best pattern for all my remaining uh, uh, roof rafters so I'm going to transfer this on the wood that I'm going to cut it's going to be like that and I'm just going to mark everything and for the seat cut mark and for the overhang you mark it and that's it you're done and you can just uh, Put all the lines that uh, for the remaining rafters and cut it with your saw. You might ask what's the angle of the rafters that I'm cutting. So uh, 14, uh, 412 uh, pitch uh, of the rafters. If you're going to convert that to an angle, it's going to be an 18.4 degrees. So I set my my miter saw to a 18 point uh, something 18.5 degrees so that I, do, I won't have to use a circular saw I'm just using a miter saw it's much easier so the angle of the rafters uh, cut would be 18.4 degrees so I already pre-cut them for the for the seat cut and for both uh, end, ends of the routers I cut it 18.4 degrees I'm using a circular, circular saw to cut that angle So I'm just going to use a reciprocating saw just to cut it through.
and use a knife to get rid of the excess material. I've cut all my rafters uh, for the roof and this is how it's gonna look like when I mount it on my shed. And this is the this is the one I'm saying, the ridge. So this is an uh, six foot span. This is the ridge that I'm gonna put on the center of the roof. So this would be the peak peak point of the roof. And I created a stand for it and I just <clears throat> put a step so that it would sit together and it would look like that I'm gonna screw it in and raise it to the center of the of the shed since I'm uh, installing the roof ridge by myself I put two two by fours at the bottom of the ridge just to help it stand uh, when i put that on top of the roof or on the headers of the roof Here I'm trying to get uh, the center of the roof ridge or the roof headers on the six feet span. And on the side, I'm making a mark for the spacing of the roof rafters. And here, I'm uh, I put a 24 inch on center on both sides. So that uh, they would be aligned with each other. And on the other end, uh, getting the uh, center of the uh, roof ridge again. And now uh, I'm installing the uh, uh, roof ridge by myself. As you can see, uh, I put those two 2x4s two on both ends so that I can make the roof ridge stand by itself you also need to mark the roof ridge with the spacing of 24 inch for the roof rafters and now just making it uh, make some adjustment to, to put it on the center and screw on one end and on the other end
and now here I started installing the rafters so put first the one on the front or the one on the end of the of the roof Just remember to light it up with the marks that you made on both sides of the headers. I'm done with my roof rafters and the next steps would be uh, installing the roofs. It's either using shingles or anything that you, you would put on the roof. And <clears throat> after that, it's the wall of the shed. So maybe on the next video. Thank you for watching. This is the end of part two of uh, building a shed. If you like uh, my videos, please subscribe and share for me to make more videos like this. Thank you.